Premier Comrade Mielenkov. Comrade Agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Furons. The primary agent was this Furon, Cryptosporidium 137. Dangerous, unpredictable, and now deceased. So, what is being problem? The problem, Conrad, is that Furons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they've used these abilities to put Cryptosporidium 138 into the White House. Then the American people are not noticing? Uh. <laughs> ah, right. Pull the other one. Even worse. This new crypto clone contains pure Furon DNA, harvested from human brains by Orthopox 13, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation, referred to only as the package. Ooh. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so, must be. Destroyed! As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City, attending a new cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon Mothership. Only one way to deal with such men. Revolution. Uh oh. Now that can't be good. Oh. Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Fioran. I expect you to die. Mine's big.
ship has somehow been destroyed, and I've been blown to smithereens. Luckily, I was able to download a copy of my exquisite mind into this holopox unit just before the ship exploded. Gee, that is lucky. Virtual pox, huh? Kinda constricting, ain't it? Well, beggars can't be choosers. I need to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some. I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. Okay, so, where are the data cores? That's just it! They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. I didn't bring any with me. Figured, uh, heavy artillery ain't exactly the smoothest way to charm the jeans off a pacifist hippie chick. Oh, I knew it! I knew your unnatural interest in humans would bring us nothing but trouble! Whoa, 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 you're harsh in my buzz. Mellow out, Poxy. Easy for you to say. You weren't blown to pieces just seconds before restoring your own genitalia! What's a data core? You never studied, did you? A data core is a device used for storing weapons or other Furon technology. The outer casing is extremely dense and should have easily survived the fall to Earth. The only real trick will be finding them. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core.
if only you had some way to get it. Like, oh, I don't know. Maybe some kind of jetpack! Understand it. 
We blew that alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. This Jopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them! Pyrrh! Nonetheless, inform the Kremlin we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much Revelade as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Da, Agent Orinchov. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. And so he will. But not, I think, the sort he expects. Idealists. They spit on them! Pfft! Stalin, he understood. Ideas may start revolutions, but guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs> Jeez, Box, my head's still spinning. What the hell's going on around here? Why are those Ruskies gunning for us? Frankly, I'm more concerned with how the KGB managed such a successful twin strike. They're not usually so organized. We need to find them, Crypto, before they spring any more surprises. Okay, so what? I just start knocking on doors and doing the slicing dice? You do not! The KGB are hardly likely to hang around if you just start indiscriminately blowing away humans. Yeah, well, I was just brainstorming. Well, stop! I've done a little research in the criminal files of the local constabulary. Apparently, there's one informant in Bay City who always knows what's going down on the streets. They call him the Freak. The Freak, huh? Yeah, I I've heard about him. Cat's got connections all over town. He's kind of a burnout, though. From what I hear, he doesn't even need drugs anymore. He lives in his own personal mental lava lamp. But if any of those stinky monkeys knows what the KGB are up to, I bet he does. Then I suggest you locate him and find out what he knows. All right, enough chit-chat. I'm off to find her little hippie friend, the Freak. Get me a Valium! Oh! 
I see that freak down at the park, I'm gonna make him cut his hair and get a real job. Hey, that'd make a great country song. I wonder where the freak went. Probably up on the hill doing his mountaintop hermit routine. Weirdo. But Chris promised me some of the primo stuff if I visit him on the hill later on. He's kind of creepy, but I do love his fine Colombian. I wonder where the freak went. Probably up on the hill doing his mountaintop hermit routine. Weirdo. Hey there, uh, Moon Doggy. Uh, I'm looking for a dude with his ear to the street. The kids call him the Freak. You found him, but I'm all tapped out, man. The heat's coming down on me, you know. Try me next week. Freak, in all your drug-induced visions, I'm sure you've gained much uh, wisdom. Hey, I'm just trying to find me Camino, man. No different from you. But I've fried my share of brain cells, that's for sure. Super. Which is why I seek your, uh, well, for lack of a better word, let's uh, call it guidance. Right on, Seeker. What can I do you for? Uh, got any? Tips for dealing with the ladies? Patience, love, mutual respect. Those are the ways to earn a woman's heart. Are you serious? You sound like Gloria freaking Steinem. Whoa, now I'm a liberated man. What's with the heavy vibe, mama? What? Oh, oh, crap. I forgot I'm a chick. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that I cannot clone myself. How do I live a long and healthy life? Sex, sex, and more sex! And if you can't be with the one you love, honey, love the one you're with! Wow, oh, you really are wise. You're boring the love beads off of me here. Let's talk about something else. Well, what I need is information. What do you know about the Ivans in the cheap suits who crashed our party? You mean those KGB cats? Yeah, those dudes are straight, all right. They make Jack Lord look like Abby Hoffman. Only they didn't crash, man. They were invited. Who 
invited the KGB to uh, harsh our buzz. From what I hear, it was that cat who leads the commune. I don't know his real name, but he calls himself Coyote Bongwater, which is pretty righteous. Supposedly, he's like this master of tantric meditation and spiritual healing. All I know is Cat's got the chicks eaten out of his hookah. So he's catnip to Las Gadas, eh, amigo? For sure! All the chicks really dig him the most. Up to them, Coyote Bongwater'd be running that commune like a king, which he practically is anyway. Okay, you piqued my interest. Where do I find Coyote Bongwater? Well, from what I hear, he's kind of paranoid. He doesn't hang out at the park for long. I heard he's got a pad someplace, but I don't know where. What I do know is he's cutting into my livelihood. Dude's been handing out this new turn on a drink like in a in a can. He calls it Revelé. Ain't that a bitch? If you want him, that's your in. Find some Revelé and you'll probably find Coyote Bongwater. What's in this Revelé stuff? He claims it's like an all-natural elixir that enhances your cosmic awareness or something. Bonewater says it's the first shot in the global revolution against the man. Great. Great. Like the monkeys aren't revolting enough already. Thanks, Freak. I gotta go find Coyote Bongwater. I can't believe I just said that. Strange trip it's been. If this Bongwater guy thinks he can buy my loyalty by handing out free samples of his homebrewed mind-altering substance on Ashbury Street, then he's right! It's all about the buzz, man! about being superpower is guaranteed never to change. Oh, if only we had gorditas in Soviet Union. Next week, we'll start one-on-one -on -one Shakti tutoring. I'll be giving each of you private, hands-on instruction in Kriyanish Pati, the highest state of tantric arousal. These sessions can run 10 hours. 
So eat a good breakfast. That's it for today. Remember, wherever you go, I'll be there. The shine in your Japan, the sparkle in your China. Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva. Ah! Goddamn flashbacks. Guess again, sunshine. Nice little setup. Guns, cheap Russian booze, teenage bra-burning hippie chicks. Man after my own heart, if I had one. Then join us. We're about to free the people of this city. Soon they'll see the truth and embrace our beautiful new utopia. The Bay City Super Organic Communal Collective and Compost Farm. Are you with us, man? Am I with you? Dude, you're bogarting the brain stems. I'm gonna have to kill you. Yeah, yeah. Kill me? Run along, comrade. My men can handle this. Passive best. What a crunk. Perimeter breach! Get bong water out of here! Hurry! Bong water is being in danger! Get him out of here! Now! Gator. You could make somebody it call a cat. Ah. How's it hanging, freak? Uh, listen, I need a little more info. All right, but hurry it up, will ya? You're making me nervous. Hey, freak. You ever been to Capital City? Yes, I mean, no. What would I be doing in a town full of squares and eh, politicians? And I ain't never been to Nom, neither. Here's the thing. I found Bong Water, but he got away before I could ice him. Whoa. I don't know, man. You didn't tell me you were gonna get violent. You didn't ask. Smart hippie. Okay, okay. Maybe I've heard some things. He's gone underground and come up with a new plan to distribute his revelade. 
Great. What's that wacko up to now? Get this. Somehow, he got his hands on a whole bunch of blimps. Blimps? What's he gonna do? Start a tire company? It's not what's on the outside, man. It's what's on the inside. Gas. He's gonna gas the whole city with Revelade. Wow, that's so wild it might just work. Well, I'll tell you this. Bongwater's been drinking his own Revelade if he thinks his scheme's gonna work. Whatever. Hey, you coming to Jade's party? What? No, I'm gonna blow up Bongwater's blimps full of Revelade. Didn't you hear me? Easy, man. Mellow out. What am I doing talking to this creep? Pox, we got a situation here. Bungwater must be drinking his own product. The freak says he's planning to fumigate Bay City with giant blimps full of Revelade gas. Great galaxies! That's so moronic, it just might work! So let's get flying, huh? I'm itching for some serious payback. Not so fast, my ultraviolet me. My scan of the engine core has revealed some critical damage. Oh, crap. The good news is ancient Furon landing beacons were left here eons ago during the war with the Martians. If you can find and activate one of those beacons, you'll be able to summon your saucer. Neat trick. And then, I kick a little monkey ass. of the great Ark Voodoo.
Good work getting the saucer here, Crypto! No sweat. It needs to be aired out every 5,000 parsecs or so. It appears the saucer took a hit. Or 12. On the way here. No, no, no. Don't say it. I'm afraid we can't possibly take off until the engine is repaired. Ah, man. Luckily, I've detected more damage from the rubbish to be nearby. Take repair parts you can use to get the saucer up in flying. Once you're in the air, you can blow up blimps to your heart's content. Gotcha. I'll snatch up those repair pods and bring back to the saucer. Oh, oh yeah. It's paper. What's the back? Put that little freak out. I am not your property.
Right on! Time to boogie! You all right, man? So, uh, you into politics? That President Huffman's doing a heck of a job, ain't he? Huffman? Are you high? America's become like one giant Orwellian nightmare! Thanks to lying corporate flunkies like him, human race would be better off if he'd never been born! Well, can't argue with that. 
Just tell me where Bong Water is so I can whack him and get back to making hot monkey love. When you're packing a new Ferrari, you don't want to gather in dust in the garage, you know what I'm saying? Not really. And Bong Water? What can I say, man? Nobody's seen the dude. Well, nobody's at Prudence, I guess. Who's Prudence? Uh, his insurance broker? Ah, dear Prudence. No, she's Bongwater's new protege. Kind of a revolutionista in training. <laughs> Anybody knows where Bongwater's at? It'd be Prudence. It sounds like a real firecracker. Maybe I should introduce myself. All right. I'm off to introduce myself to Prudence, see if I can convince her to give up bong water. Now that Prudence Kane lives in the park, all of a sudden it's off limits? Who runs this town? The mayor or her parents? The park is full of happening dudes, so why is Prudence always after me? Give a brother a break, man! You alright, man? Goddamn flashbacks. I can't get away from me! The freak has landed! You seem a little fried.
children of the revolution, this is the dawning of the age of aquariums. My name is Prudence Kane. Like me, many of you joined the American Liberation Front as a way of getting back at your rich suburban parents for subjecting you to an adolescence of obscene luxury. Coyote Bongwater cannot be with us today because he is setting in motion a grand design to transform this entire city into a countercultural utopia. Bay City is about to become one big happy commune. Suck on that, Daddy. All right, so what's Bongwater up to this time? So how can Coyote Bongwater possibly free the minds of a whole city the same way he freed our minds with Revelade? How did I know that was coming? Revelade sounds yummy to the tummy. So uh, where do I get me some? That's the best part. Our brothers and sisters are about to deliver the final batch of Revelade to our leader, Coyote Bongwater. He's gonna pour it into the bay. Soon the masses are gonna be begging us to lead them in revolution. Those Revelade trucks could be a serious pain in my ass, and I haven't blown anything up for at least 10 minutes. Rich like a figurative transformer robot. There's more to this than meets the eye. This revelation isn't a coincidence. It's an attack! Take out those trucks immediately!
Excellent work taking out those trucks, Crypto. Now, by analyzing their route, I've determined that their destination was the old fort on the hill. Long water must be over there somewhere. The guru has gone into the fort. You must find another way in. <laughs>
wonder what this does. A good villain always has an underground lair. On a totally unrelated subject, I wonder where Coyote Bongwater's living these days.
Agent Orenshoff, come in. Uh, I failed. You'll have to start the revolution without me. Yet. Yet? B but... This city is useless to us now. I mean, have you seen these people? They make the students in Prague look like a meeting of the Politburo. We shall destroy this degenerate city and return to the Soviet Union with the spacecraft fragments we have managed to retrieve. But what about freeing America from the tyranny of capitalist consumerism? Do not despair, comrade. The party will long remember your efforts to cripple your decadent nation. You shall not have died in vain. Or in Chavalt. But... no! No! I wanted to save America, not destroy it! Oh, man! What have I done? Uh, excuse me. Sometimes it's kinder just to put them down. I loved you and the king and I! Oh! 
Dark Voodoo requires slaves. Female slaves. Preferably buxom and scantily clad. By the sacred genitalia, heed the wheel of Ark Voodoo. Major Tom.
So, our Furon god is buried in effigy all over Earth, huh? Who'd have thunk? Ah, oh, yes. Arkvoodle of the Sacred Crunch. Prodigious in size, legend in potency and stamina. You put me in mind of him, Crypto, with your new clone's pure Furon DNA and restored genitalia. Yes, you are the spitting image of... Ah, <gasps> God, go nuts! The prophecy! What? What prophecy? It foretells the coming of a savior who will reassert the sexual dominance of the Furon race. It is written in the holy book of Pudenga. And lo, a son of Arkfudel shall rise newly born to prepare ye for that day when Arkfudel shall come again. Wait a minute. It sounds incredible, I know, but Crypto... What if it's true? What if you're... the one? Hmm... I did take a red pill this morning. Okay, just for the sake of argument, let's say you're right. How the hell am I supposed to bring about the second coming of Arkfoodle? The scriptures say Arkfoodle will return when enough seekers believe in him again. You mean, like, Tinkerbell? It's something like that. But Crypto, this is ideal! Humanity is desperate to reconnect the physical and spiritual! All that's needed is for you to spread the good pickup line of Ogfoodle! They're bound to follow you! You want me to start a cult? Basically. Hmm... Religion is the opiate of the masses. I like it, but how do I do it? Well, humans tend to sublimate their individuality into tribal units bound by social and political commonality. Such groups are full of docile sheep, ripe for conversion to the way of the sacred crunch. Hail, Arkvoodle! Time to get religious, hallelujah! Before you do, it would be wise to go and seek the blessing of Arkfoodle himself. What? You mean one of those statues with a pigeon crap on it? Precisely. Seek the blessing of Arkfoodle, and your coat will prosper. If you say so, but I'm gonna feel like a putz.
Okay. Now that don't move. The glory of our Poodle grows from the highest state of chaotic fecundity. When the ring turns orange and the population's nerves are frayed, then shall the ground be fit to sow and the masses shall follow. Thus spake Ark Poodle. Bow, shit up, bow, down. Don't. Ah! 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 Ah!
Finally! My gun was getting lonely. Man, I hate those guys. And I didn't think it was possible for anyone to wear worse suits than Majestic. Actually, Pox, I was kind of planning to go see this new Russ Meyer movie. Violent Vixens Vroom Vroom. Looks like a blockbuster. This is no time for fume going! Our grip on this planet is at serious risk! Have you seen a Meyer flick, Pox? It's a religious experience. So what you got on those sneaky monkeys? Bongwater's last transmission betrayed the location of the KGB base of operations. They're working from an abandoned prison island in the middle of the bay. Prison Island? The KGB are holed up in Australia? Uh, no. Humans have many prison islands, apparently. It's one area in which they are highly evolved. The locals refer to this one simply as... The Rock. Okay, then. Time to put the KGB between the rock and my hard place. Gotcha. I'll blast that island back into the ocean with the rest of the slime. Need for it? That Agent Orinchov told Bongwater they were going to destroy the entire city somehow. You'd best scout the island first and find out what they have planned. Alright, I'm going in to get a piece of the rock. My scans of Bay City indicate the wharf as the best area from which to launch your invasion of the island. I ain't 
Patience is at an end, Gospodin. I'm shaking in my booties. You guys make Americans look clever. Silence! The workers' revolution is inevitable. Right. You don't really know much about capitalism, do you, Ivan? I know corrupt corporations fatten themselves off the toil of the American worker even as they pull the strings of the American government. Exactly! You can't beat that kind of muscle! Not even with nuclear time bombs hidden all over Base City? these documents before he finds out where the bombs are hidden. For Sovetsky Soyuz! Damn it! Well, we need Bay City! Hey, Ruski, give me those docks!
fabrications that the great god of the sacred crotch was not made and cannot be unmade. Arkvoodle is, always was, and always will be. And for once they got it right. Fire at my idol with your disintegrate array. I'll show you. Corruption shaken out of you? You are the same, you cunt. Get, Get down me. from there. Try not to worry. Move, damn you. Move it or move it, comrade. Oh, try to be shooting here. I could be having a report. Yes, I shall unlock the landing zone. Thanks for playing. Oh, <laughs> 